Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and just stick around. Also, if you need any help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. So if you're interested in any of these services, there is a link below in the description box. Click on it and it's going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Today, I want to talk about getting into a state that in my opinion is one of the most powerful states to be in and one state that can actually help you manifest whatever desires that you're manifesting much, much faster. And that is the state of embodying and feeling and assuming the concept of everything is working out for me. No matter what, everything is working out for me. It is always working. So how do you get into this state? We're going to talk about that. So stay tuned. So the reason this state is a very powerful state to be in and actually one of the most powerful states to be in when you're manifesting any desire or multiple desires is because you are dropping all the resistance you may have towards the current circumstances, towards what the 3D might be showing, um, towards the old story, if there is one, or towards um, doubts or fears or insecurities um, or negative self-talk you might have about whatever desire you're manifesting. Getting into this state can actually take care of all of that can actually soothe you, can actually reassure you, can actually calm you down, and it can help you see everything from a different perspective. It can help you see everything from a more distanced perspective, but in a good way, a more detached perspective, where you realize that everything actually is truly working out for you. So how do you get into that state, especially if your current 3D is showing you otherwise, if it's showing you opposite things, if it's showing you things that you don't prefer, or if you have an old backstory with the person, or with the job, or with the money, or with the people, with the family, whatever it is. Um, if you have any kind of resistance, especially if old circumstances or current circumstances are showing otherwise, how do you actually manage to get into that state, into a state of feeling that everything is working out for me regardless, everything is working out for me no matter what? Well, you simply start perceiving things differently. You start relabeling things. You don't dwell on individual facts or individual events or incidents. You stop being triggered by what reality might be showing you right now. For example, but I see no movement, I see no change, or I don't see anything happening, or I see all the opposite things to what I want and to what I prefer. So you stop being triggered by all these things, and instead you actually relabel everything you see and reassign it a different meaning. You reassign it the meaning of no matter what, no matter if it looks like it's opposite to what I want, no matter if it looks like it's not what I want, it's not what I prefer, it's not my ideal reality, I am going to brand it and label it and assign it the meaning of it's in my favor. It's still working in my benefit. It's still working out for me. It is still a bridge to what I want. It is still a bridge to bringing me my desire. And I might not be able to see right now why this might be happening. I might not see why this person is being mean to me or why the circumstances are not changing or why they're reflecting something opposite, but reassure yourself that everything, everything is a bridge to your own good, a bridge to your desire, and that everything is working out as it should. And the good thing about being in this state is that you actually lose all the resistance to what the old story might be, to what the current circumstances might be showing, you just relabel it, you reperceive it a different way, you rebrand it, if you will, in a different way, and you tell yourself that it's still working out for me. It's always working out for me. Everything is always working out to my benefit. Everything is always working out towards my desire. Everything is a bridge to my desire. No matter what I see, no matter what I experience, it's supposed to be happening this way because it's going to bring me my desire. And even if I don't currently see why 
it might be beneficial if I see it as something negative, as something opposite. Remember that you are seeing things from a finite human mind that is only used to seeing what the five senses show. It's only used to seeing what the 3D is showing and drawing conclusions from that. And so you're actually not able to see the bigger picture. You're actually only seeing and perceiving something like 0.00001% of what is actually going on, what is going on behind the scenes, how things are shifting behind the scenes, how things are being orchestrated. You are missing all of this. You are not able to see all of this and perceive all this with your senses. So this is where trust comes in. Trust in the process and trust in whatever you're building, whatever you're creating within is actually already in motion and already coming to you in one way or another. So when you're actually facing difficult circumstances or opposing circumstances, or you're seeing no change, remind yourself to trust the process, remind yourself to trust yourself and your inner process, remind yourself that you're already creating within what it is that you want and that it has to be reflected in the 3D reality. So the how is not our job, it's not our business. We are not able to know the how, we're not able to perceive the how, for this exact reason that I just mentioned, we're only able to perceive 0.0001% of what is actually happening and what's actually going on. So we're not able to determine the how, we're not even able to perceive or imagine how things might happen, how things might come about. So we need to relax and actually trust that what we're doing within is actually with a sense and with a purpose, and it's actually going to bring us what we want in our desired reality. And whenever we see something that we perceive as opposing, as something we don't want, we want to be careful not to label it as such, not to perceive it as such, and instead just observe it, let it go, not build any resistance around it, not build any stories around it, and just remind ourselves that things are working out the way they're supposed to work out, everything is working out perfectly right now it has always worked out perfectly it will continue to work out perfectly and my desire is going to come to me through ways that i might not even be aware of right now so everything is always working out in my favor everything is always working out for me everything is always to my benefit everything is a bridge to bringing me my desire everything is bringing me closer to my desire all these things are very, very powerful and very beneficial statements and feelings and assumptions to have in mind and to get into that state where you actually trust that things truly are working out for you all the time, 24 seven, and they are bringing you your desire. If you're creating it within, if you are making it dominant within, that's all you need to do. Everything else will be taken care of. So trust that. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.